Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'll give you a little tour of the backyard because you've never seen it before. Um, not much of it anyway. So, obviously that's the house. There's the um, septic tank way below ground there. And apparently the way this works, all the drainage from the house, uh, the turds and stuff, and then my turds coming through here, go into that septic tank and fill it up. And the turds float to the top, and the, the, everything goes in at the bottom. The turds float to the top, and the water and all the pure liquids stay at the bottom. And when those reach a certain point, they drain hundreds of feet off into the front of our yard, like hundreds and hundreds of feet way down there, into these gigantic pits in the ground that you'll never see that are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet down there. And they're all filled with rock, um, like, like gravel rock. And um, it soaks into the ground, and over like a hundred years, it you know distributes through the dirt. And then we have a well out there, like the old school wells that you know kids fall down, but it's got a pump at the top. That's that big cement thing you see over there. And it pumps water out of the ground, and it's technically water that, you know, we pissed through about 100 years ago. But um, that's the way it's done. And there had to be a certain amount of distance apart for it to be sanitary, and for, you know, the hundreds of years of it seeping through the ground for it to be fine. But anyway, um, so that's how that works. It's pretty gross whenever I've learned how, to, how it works. This is the pool. It's slightly green right now just because we're not going to be swimming in it, and we're letting it get a little bit green. Um, we're still running the the thing just enough to keep it from getting super nasty and then we'll just shock it with chlorine and run the pump next summer um, but this whole backyard thing this used to be one even slope this whole backyard and he basically dug that section out over this last summer made it deeper built this up really high with a tractor before this was just one slope um, and then he put the pool down here the pool used to be over there and um, put the pool in here and obviously he's going to build some kind of a deck there but that's not the main project the main project is um, he's flattened this ground out so it comes right up to this wall and he's built a retaining wall with these bricks and um, behind here obviously you know when it rains there's gonna be rain coming down here and it's gonna it would normally collect below the pool you don't want that so below this wall there's one pipe a long pipe running along it with holes in the top of the pipe and it's running at an angle like this you know so rain goes down here instead of going over the edge and the retaining wall instead of going over the edge it collects in this pipe and through those little holes runs down the pipe and then somewhere down here the pipe goes right here and goes at an angle that way and it drains out into this yard out here it's all underground but that's how that works anyway that's the pool but there's going to be a deck right here right along the ground built right up to the edge of the pool that's going to be pretty cool when it's done, but it looks gross that it's green. Anyway, these are the neighbor's backyards. There's horses out there. I don't think you can see them, though. Oops, maybe you can. There's a horse there. A little horse is way in the background. Anyway, everything's kind of messy on here because we're still working. All right, um, this is part of the tour thing. I'm editing all this all together. Um, the tour I mentioned I was going to do. Uh, so along with all the shit in the backyard, uh, about where the, the sewage goes and everything. This is the water well, which is sort of like the modern version, I guess, of the old school well that kids fall down like in the ring and stuff. Um, but that thing goes down way, way far in the ground, just like a well would. And at the bottom there's a bunch of rocks and stuff and yada yada. But there's this whole big section of, of ground, like big pit down there full of rocks, like huge, 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 which naturally hundreds of feet down there fills up with water. And this thing pumps the water out and it sits up there. And that's where our drinking water comes from and bathing water and everything. And supposedly it's sanitary, but I don't know. Apparently it's better than better for you to drink that stuff than it is like city water. Um, but anyway, um, so it comes out of this huge well on the ground. But um, like I mentioned before, the sewage in the backyard, back there, um, when it reaches a certain point, the liquids from the bottom... Um, there's a certain amount of buoyancy to it to how it works, I don't know, but the liquids drain underground from the backyard all the way down, way to the front, and out here there's these wells, I think they're called dry wells or something, and it's the liquids from there, I'm not even going to walk all the way over there, but underground, out in this pasture, there's four gigantic pits that each of these things fill up with, um, and they fill up with in the rock through there, and uh, it's a certain amount of feet away from our drinking water, like hundreds of feet away, and there's like code for all this stuff. And um, basically that's why it technically has probably some piss in it and stuff. But uh, it goes down there and um, spreads out. 
you know, and they probably get their drinking water from it, and we probably get ours from it, but anyway, it's far enough away from everybody that it doesn't matter. And um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of it being in there and evaporating and yada yada, you know, it's good enough to drink from eventually. Um, and we get it from over there. So um, that's where they get their drinking water. And there's already, from the house, there's already lines that go under the ground somewhere under here that go up to the edge of the barn, like water lines, because there's an old water faucet here that's already tapped into it. So can't see it down there but we've already dug it out underneath here um, there's the water line that we're gonna tap into and I've already dug a trench and you see these white PVC pipes I already dug this trench a long time ago we're gonna tap into that water line for my water it's gonna come down this trench and then from that trench it goes yada yada all the way through there down and then around this corner turns left here right there there's already pipe laid there and into this thing I want to put some insulating stuff on that into the wall and then from into the wall it goes it's probably gonna need to adjust to the light there we go from into the wall it goes into here and that's pretty much it the fresh water comes out of one of those I don't know which one it was but um or maybe over there but either way, fresh water comes in, uh, the cold water, and um, it splits through the wall in a couple different ways. But well, one of them is going to go to the sink here for the cold spout and that warm spout. But anyway, one of them comes back here, it's going to go to the hot water heater that's in here, and yada yada, I've shown you that stuff before. But that's where the water comes from. And then the drain there, down below, through the poop chute. Um, and there's a similar poop chute in there that's attached to the drain for the sink, one for the toilet, and then one for the shower. They all feed in together, and there's some old still pictures I showed you of that. All down here, into that pipe down there, and then poop, and then from the poop tank, water fills up, goes way down there again, and then a hundred years later we drink our poop water. Um, something like that. I hope that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Bye.